Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. to ramble along with our uh, wonderful little program here and uh, we like to always check in with a uh, oh uh, well with uh, a former old lady uh, you'll see what I mean in a second here ladies and gentlemen presenting from uh, Lake Oswego I love saying that Lake Oswego why do you like to say that I don't so know much. why it's actually Portland is where more specifically yeah, you are but but I just like what Lake Oswego it just I don't know rolls off the tongue nicely this is uh, Ronnie Bennett ladies and gentlemen uh, for her once uh, fortnightly trip into Bennett land or double Bennett land um, uh, first of all, I want to, you know, um, I want to talk to you about something that you wrote this week, and and I uh, a little tear came to my eye as I read it. Uh, you had a very happy happenstance, and now I don't want you to get mad at me for saying this, okay? But can I call you grandma? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> care. I mean, if I were going to choose something like that. Um, I would probably pick Gran or Granny. Yeah. Mima is something people use a lot, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you are, you never were a grandmother till recently. Yes. Let's explain this again, part of it, and then <laughs> let's get to the more present story. Um, uh, when I first met you, you admitted to me that you had uh, recently had a child. That you gave up for adoption. Yes. And all of a sudden, because of this damn DNA stuff, you know, you sign up for the DNA thing. It says, oh, this person is a 100% match to you or something ridiculous. 50% means it's, child or parent. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. And it turned out it was your kid. Yes. And because sometimes with these DNA matches, <laughs> they send you these things like, here are the closest matches to you. You may know this person know this person he came out of me you know uh so you found your son after what 55 50, years 55 years half a century that's amazing yes it is. yeah and uh as we all know you you have a cancer i i hate to say it you know it's a word that just doesn't roll off my tongue too easily and so at this time for this to happen to you is, I think, nothing short of wonderful. You know, a friend of mine, I wrote about, uh, my son, Tom is his name, and I've been talking on the phone weekly for a while. Mm -hmm. And then last Saturday, which I wrote about yesterday, he and his wife and his son came to visit and spend the day. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> speaking of being a grandma and an old lady, why did I start this sentence? <laughs> 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 to tell the story about them coming here. Um, yeah, but I, I, I can't remember where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> well, they showed up. Okay. Um, but at any rate, um, they came and we had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know where I was going with that. Ask your next, next question. <laughs> well, what I would ask, first of all, because this was your first actual physical meeting with him. Uh, yes. He lives down in where, Napa in, in California? In the Napa Valley. Napa Valley. So did he drive up with the kid, wife and kids? No, they flew. They flew. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, they were up here looking for homes because they have, long before knowing about me, they had been planning on moving to Oregon. Oh wow! Okay, so uh, so it was a it had other reasons for existence. Anyway, uh, they came to visit you. Now I got under. I got to ask you, in anticipation of this, what was going through your head? Well, you know, we'd we'd spoken a number of times on the phone, and I'd really come to like him a lot. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, I suppose you could, you know, in the same circumstance, you might not like the person. I suppose that could happen, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I really like him, and we have a lot of weird little things you wouldn't guess were genetic that we have in common, which I think we talked about on another yeah. one of these shows. Yeah. And um, and I was, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I was apprehensive. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. And uh, there's a knock at the door at the appropriate time we'd planned. And I opened the door, and I'd seen photographs of him, and there he was, recognized him. His wife, Kathy, and their little four-year-old, Henry. And it all just melted away. Any apprehension that I had just was gone. It was just gone. But, but, but and prior, we had a wonderful day. But, we talked about our families and, I don't know, just I, everything under the sun. They arrived with food. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so we had that, and I had a couple of bottles of really good wine. We didn't give Henry any of that, but we drank it. And, uh, and this wonderful little kid who brought me this mug he made for me. <laughs> Look at that. I'm drinking my coffee. Uh, how old is he? That's a pretty good mug for a four-year-old. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yes. Wow. So, uh, it, 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 all I'm saying is, is that the apprehension must have been huge, and well, and then it when wasn't and, huge, and then but when it, it was there, and then it when it there. happened, all the all the apprehension was gone, because it was a reality now. You know. You know, there's a. I can't explain this at all. <coughs> I'm sorry. I've got something in my throat. I can't explain this, and I've stopped asking myself now. I feel like I've known not just him, but his wife. I've known, it's like they aren't strangers to me. Right, right. Um, And I'm related to him, you know, biologically, not to her. Yeah. Um, But... And, you know, I never raised any children. What do I know about them? And they're kind of these little little things to me that are liable to do something I don't know how to handle. And this kid was he's a wonderfully well, behaved, well, well, terrific kid. What's, what's uh, great, though, what's great, though, is you have a, uh, a child and you, a son, and you've never had to go through all the problems of raising him. <laughs> right. In other words, you went straight to person, okay? You know? <laughs> Just presented to me as a grown-up. <laughs> Can I ask you, this is kind of interesting, how did he refer to you? Did he, Meaning, say, did he say mom? No. No? No, he has a mother. A yeah, mother raised right. him. So he calls you Ronnie, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I don't believe that giving birth has anything to oh, do that's, with being a mother. Right. You're quite right. Um, it has to do with taking care of somebody day in and day out, loving them no matter what, and doing the best you can to turn them into a wonderful, grown-up, responsible person. Well, if I were if I were him, being who I am, I would refer to you as bio-mom. Ah, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> this so is, it was a wonderful is, thing, and we're you going know, to when you and do I, it again. When you and I first met, uh, and I mentioned this in that in your blog, uh, when you and I first met uh, back in what nineteen? God, what year was it? Was I've, it? Well, I, I had it had that to I be was had to be like seventeen or eighteen, but maybe I was a year or two older. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was about nineteen uh, sixty. If I if I'm if I'm remembering it correctly, because I remember. I, at 19, I left town to go to, to Reno, right? Right. And, but uh, I knew you then. And then I, oh, you did know me then. Yes. Well, we knew each other when then, you were in then, Reno. But then we're talking about maybe 59. But anyway, when I met you, you you told me about this story. And I guess the, the reason I kind of bonded with you and I thought about this, and I, I don't know if it was, if I thought it at the time, was that I had gone through a similar experience from the other side. Uh, mm-hmm. I had had a girlfriend give birth to a child and give it up for adoption. And it was something that weighed heavily on me. So I could relate to the fact that 
you know, this could not have been an easy thing for you to deal with. And I think over the years, your mind has gone to that place now and then, wondering about the child and what happened to the child and so on. So here you have the resolution. I don't know what I would do if the resolution happened to me, like a kid came knocking on my door and saying, hey, I'm your son. Hi, uh, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, uh, so it, it's, it, you know, I, I know that it did affect you at the time, and it probably in some ways informed the rest of your life in, in certain ways you probably can't put your finger on. I know it did with mine. Like I never had any kids. Or After did I, that. or did we? Because, because I didn't trust, no, because I didn't feel that I trusted any relationship I had to be strong enough that there, you know, I don't, you know, that even if we got divorced, that person wouldn't hold the kid against me or use the kid against me. So I didn't, I, I was very particular about, and I didn't want to get somebody else preg pregnant um, accidentally. Uh, I only wanted to do it on purpose. So I always took, you know, uh, extreme measures in my life to see that I wasn't getting somebody pregnant. I knew that I could, obviously. Um, so I, I um, uh, so I, I know it can have a long-term lasting effect on you. I think had that not happened to me when I was what, 19, uh, I think that I probably would have had kids pretty easily over the years. You know, my whole life would have changed as a result of that because your priorities change, you know. Here, I, I never had kids, so I could be as selfish as I wanted to with my life. But when you got those other people involved, it becomes a real problem, you know. What are you smiling That's about? pretty amazing. I mean, the people who commented on my blog post about our meeting, uh, a friend of mine in Boston, Millie Garfield, yeah. Um, I think she emailed me rather than leaving leaving a note um, that this is this was Hanukkah week and she said you know the miracle of and she explained of course the miracle of Hanukkah they had enough oil for one day of light yeah. and it lasted for eight days and, she, and that was a miracle and she said and this is your miracle oh it is it, in the no, same week as the Hanukkah uh, miracle I mean it, it's a lucky happenstance you know uh, it's it's uh, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm sure I will never uh, have that moment. And I, to this day, I wonder whatever happened to the kid. I think he became Howard Stern, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I always thought of Howard Stern as about the same age as you. I guess I'm wrong. He's younger. Huh? Oh, no, he's not 70. I'm going to be 79 on Tuesday. It was Tuesday? What is Tuesday? Monday. Whatever. Tuesday. Tuesday is the 18th? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be uh, uh, 79. Uh, Howard's only like, oh, 62, something like that, 63. Maybe a little older. But anyway, so this is, this is, you know, this is just a wonderful thing. If anybody has a chance, you should read about it on her blog at uh, uh, timegoesby.net because it, it's just, I, I read it and I was just so happy for you. I could feel the happiness oozing off the uh, screen at me. <laughs> you know. In other news. In uh, Meanwhile, in other news, yeah. I'm starting new chemo on Thursday. Oh. Um, because the other wasn't working and that's why I have new cancer. Um, and this is like that one, although it's much stronger, and it's supposed to, if it works, extend my relatively healthy life longer than it would without the chemo. Right. It has stronger side effects. We'll see if I can handle them. Yeah. You know? That's the hardest part. You know, I mean, sometimes you say, okay, these things extend life, but at what cost? Right. What you know, it, it doesn't extend maybe the quality of your life. That's the problem. Yes. You know, it creates a, a, a quality of life that's a bit more infirmed. Let's say. I mean, I hate to use a term like that, but I mean, it. You know, you you do what you can do. Yes. You and know. right now, another problem is you know the. I, I think we discussed that the cancer had moved, or appeared in one of my lungs. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they said it's due to the, those cancer nodules that I'm having a lot of trouble breathing and I have to move very slowly now and do everything slowly and rest in between. 
irritating as hell, let me tell you. Oh, well, let me ask you this, though. Did you start having that symptom prior to finding out that the cancer had come back? I don't remember. Because I don't remember you complaining about bright breathing. No, and I, don't I don't complain. No, no, no. no I, okay, yeah, and like a Jewish mother, you'll sit in the dark. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, please complain. You have a right to complain. No, I don't have a right to complain. You know, I compared to many people in my circumstances, more or less, I've been, incre- one, I've been incredibly lucky. One of the things that still amazes me about this is that if you don't count the the effects of cancer of of chemotherapy Mm -hmm. and in this case the breathing you know problem that i've that that isn't it it, it's difficult but it's not horrible it's and so i just have to be slower is it amazes me that you can have something inside your body that is ravaging your body right but except for those side effects, I wouldn't know that except that the doctors told me. Well, that's what I'm I mean, saying. That's just astonishing. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, that prior to this diagnosis that the cancer had come back, okay, uh, you seem to not complain about being short of breath or being tired no, all no. the time I mean, or whatever. Before it had recurred, I was fine for eight or nine or ten months. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, even now that it's recurred, or come moved whatever yeah, it does yeah. appear in two other places still if you don't count the breathing problem and of course side effects are from the chemo not the cancer right so you don't count those um you're you're doing- i can't believe that something is moving around doing terrible things inside my body that will kill me eventually yeah but i feel fine i mean it's just you know Cancer is possibly the most fearful medical word we have. Whenever you hear that someone has cancer, you know, there are a few cancers that we're able to take care of fairly well, but only a few. Mostly cancer means, oh my God. And how it can be going on inside, and I feel relatively fine, just amazes me. I mean, I I don't expect that to last forever during this process. But it still amazes me right now. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I, um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's one of those kind of things that when you hear the word, you know, you immediately. I mean, people, even if somebody says, "Oh, you've got skin cancer," you know, they go crazy, you know, because the word cancer is a, you know, even though we know skin cancer, you can probably take care of it and it's fine. Uh, uh, a prostate Same cancer case. is one that's easily taken care of, uh, you know, pretty much if it hasn't spread. Uh, but when you hear those words, uh, they, they have a certain resiliency that no other word has. And by the way, let's mention, cancer isn't one disease. It's a, it's a disease with all kinds of subsets. You know, mm-hmm. you've got skin cancer, you've got lung and cancer. Even if, two got... People, even if two people's cancer are called the same thing, it will manifest itself differently in each person, as does chemo. Right. Some people's chemo, wow, clears out the cancer and they're fine for years and years and years. Other people, it has no effect, doesn't change the cancer at all, and everything in between. Um, so there's no way to predict what's going to happen for you know for sure. I mean, when when the doctors say to me, you know, if you, you if you take this chemo, you will have X amount of time. If you don't, you will have X amount of time. Um, that's their best guess. And now they're very experienced. They've worked with lots of patients. They're doing the best they can. But a cancer might run rampant or it might respond to the chemo. You never know for sure. And probably it's different in everybody. One person can do the that's chemo and it doesn't work. Another person it does. You know, it's, yes, it's, uh, uh, it, but it is, you know, I look upon, as I get older, I mean, about to hit 79, geez, you know, I'm amazed at that alone. But that I've always, because I have this the fear of death and because I'm also a person who always thinks of the glass as being half empty, you know, 
Um, yes, I, you're right. <laughs> I remember. I, I constantly feel I have the Grim Reaper with his scythe standing in back of me saying, We well, all feel that well, way. Well, let's you know, see. You're not alone with let's that. see. What is it we're going to have get you? You know? I mean, I, I have no idea. You know, I, I, right now I don't have anything. You know, I, uh, but all of a sudden the doctor could say, you got something, you know, and then you go, okay, that's what's going to get me. But meanwhile, uh, you, as you get older, you, be, you begin to think in terms, I'd like to think that, hey, I have a long life. I'm going to live like I have a long life and so on. <clears throat> but it's hard to do as you get older, you know. Hard you, how? Oh, you know, I mean, for instance, we've got this problem with the, with the apartment right with all this legal action stuff that's going on i'm wondering if i will live long enough to see it resolve itself and if it resolves itself and let's say we get a ton of money we might buy a house in the country what are we buying a house for how long are we going to live to be able to live in that house you know, these are things you do when you're let me give 50. you a hint about houses in the country at your age yeah you're way too far from a local hospital oh okay you see, you see, you brought it up. You had to bring that up, okay? <laughs> you know, but there are things you think about. Do, okay, Marjorie the other day says to me, you know, because we have this cat, we be, a cat sit every now and then that we've really come to love. And she said, why don't we get a cat? Why don't we get two cats? And I went, I can't stand to have an animal who's going to sit there and go, you know, long after you're gone, I'm still going to be here. Well, let me tell you about that. <laughs> you know? I had my cat, Ollie, Ollie yeah. Bennett, yeah. for 14 years, and he got very sick early this year. We tried a bunch of things with the vet, and eventually he'd lost so much weight, and it was time to put him, what, how, what's the phrase they yeah, use? Put, put him, him down. down or something. Oh, I put a cat down once. I said, you know what? You're not as good as the dog. That's how I put my cat down. You get the joke? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, it went by me, but now I get it. Um and uh, and one of the things that had bothered me, because he was a biter, he bit my ankles all the time, and even mm -hmm. my hands sometimes. And he and I had learned to work that out pretty well. We yelled at each other once in a while. Um, but what worried me, because I had been diagnosed with cancer, is particularly because he was a biter. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah. Who was ever going to take this cat right. when I died? So in a way... I mean, you're never, ever happy about anybody dying, even your pets. Yeah. But in a way, I, it, it took a worry away that what would, what would happen to my cat if nobody took him. Yeah. So, you know, and I'd love to have another cat, but I don't think that's a real smart idea in my current condition. Um, no. I, I, but as I say, I, I don't know that I want to get an animal because... How long do I, am the, you know, cat can live to be, cats especially, can live to be like 18 years old. I had one live to be 19. Shabbos lived too. to be 19. And because of that, uh, I, I think about, you know, am I going to be able to see, be old enough to see this cat go? No. So I, I just, that's the reason why I don't get an animal. Just because Here's of my age. It's very cool to do. I wrote about it and then I actually have done it once. I would like to do it again. I went to a shelter place. I called them and talked to them about it. And they had a whole parcel of kittens. Mm -hmm. And they brought out all the kittens in one little room for me. And I got down on the floor and played with these eight or ten kittens priming <laughs> all over me. And <laughs> it's the most wonderful thing. You could go try that. Um, <laughs> you could do it with puppies too. It's just as good with puppies, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I mean, I just, it's just, uh, but all I'm saying is, uh, you know, it's like you, you always buy ripe bananas, I think somebody said. You know, you never know. <laughs> and and uh, it's, um, so, I mean, that's something you, you have to constantly think about. In your case, you don't know how long you're going to live, you know? You know, you, they've, they've given, given me some nice numbers, but, you know, it's all their best guess is what they're and doing. And you could outlive those, too. You know, it, yeah. it, it, I mean, again, you're you're still in that place in, in the world where you don't know how much longer you have. Just like the I don't know how much is, longer is I you have. What don't understand, yeah. I didn't understand, is how much work it is to get ready to die. You were saying just that. just so much to get done. 
and the lists just get longer and longer and I need the time to get everything it's, up it's, in it's order. It's worse than planning for a trip. <laughs> you know. Well, maybe you could look at it that way, planning for a trip. Okay, yes. we're almost we're almost at our uh, end here of our. Oh, 20... I also the other thing. Have I told you that I've got no hair anymore? Well, uh, you you mentioned that before we <clears throat> went on, and that's why I brought it. Up. I was going to bring it up now because you said you wanted to do the big reveal. Well, the thing about you know, you you when... oh. wow. Ooh, son of a bitch. Hmm. Well, I'm, hold on a second, folks. We will uh, go back and call her again. Uh, apparently, there was a, uh, a problem here. There we go. We're back I'm again. I'm so sorry. We're, I don't know what happened. We're back again. We'll leave it in. We'll leave it. I don't know. Sometimes that's the great Skype gods. But anyway, go okay. back to what we were talking about. Um, where were we? Oh. We were talking about uh, chemo and the hair and yeah, it's not you know it it a lot of hair came out and so there's just pieces of hair in funny places that were just stupid looking. You can't comb it or anything. Yeah. Um, and so I just shave it all off because yeah. there's nothing else to do. And the guy who cut my hair, who apparently lost his job now because I have no hair. <laughs> Did <wig>. he really? <laughs> Yeah. Um, he bought me a wig and trimmed it all up for me, and I wear that sometimes. And I also wear hats, mm -hmm. but um, and I'm no good with scarves. I've never been able to tie scarves in any possible way, so that's out of the question. Right. Um, so I wear hats or I wear the wig, depending on the circumstances. And you know what? I didn't. You know this, but I didn't. Is when you've got no hair on your head, your head gets cold. So I wear a little knit cap to bed at night now <laughs> because my head is too cold at night to sleep without it. Wow. Wow. You don't? Uh, uh, no, I don't wear, uh, no. Doesn't your head feel cold? No. No, I always wear a cap when I'm out, you know, and uh, people say, why do you wear caps like this when you're on, a, on a, a, a decent day? And I go, because the sun goes, beats down on your head and you get a sunburn on the top of your head. So that's why I wear a cap, not because I'm ashamed of being bald. Oh, but, well, you know how it's mostly men who are bald, but occasionally a movie star or a model or something mm -hmm. shaves their head. Mm -hmm. And some people, men and women, look terrific bald because they have a wonderfully shaped skull yeah. and other people eh, skulls not shaped so wonderfully yeah and many years ago when i was going through trying new hairstyles all the time i thought i would shave my head it would certainly be easier wouldn't it than everything else um but i didn't know what the shape of my head was uh so when this happened and i'm stuck with it now um i have a pretty nicely shaped head but the problem with somebody with a face as old as mine walking around with no hat or no hair mm -hmm. is that people look at you and they, oh, chemo, and they're right. And they don't know what to say to you. People have a lot of, they don't know what to say when, you know, when they know you have cancer, some people anyway. So I keep something on my head so that we don't run into that problem. Well, my, but my, I thought since we are both my joke stone to you. cold bald, yeah, we my, should show this off at the end yeah, of the show. Yeah. But before we do that, I, I just say that probably, you know, I'd say, what's your sell-by date? You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'll do it. I'll do it if you do it. We're both okay. going to go naked, right? Now, this okay. is because I think the audience needs to see this because we know what you look like with hair. And, and uh, hey, you know, this is what this is. <clears throat> this is part of life, too. OK, here. Here we go. This yeah. is mine. And here she goes. Wow, you you actually look great. <laughs> you've got a great shape. Great, you, you've got a great shaped head. But I don't care when I walk past the mirror like that, and I thought I would. No, actually, I think turn sideways a little bit. Let me see. Uh, yeah, wow. Except for the the dent in your head from the hat, it looks. Dent uh, in the head. Yeah, yeah. The, see the little ring right around there where the hat was. Well, I was can't on see because it's yeah. only a little picture here. Yeah. But I've had the hat on for an hour. That happened. Yeah. It'll go away. But uh, hey, you know, if you want to do the show every time we do this like that, I'll do it like this. 
well, it's chilly in here. And so <laughs> I'll wear a hat or the wig. <laughs> you'll, you'll wear a hat or a wig. <laughs> well, all I say, I'm say i saying is you, uh, you look very good. You look very good. Well, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to do yes. this. What the hell? <laughs> Ronnie, always Maybe good. Maybe I'll just do a parade of all my hats. I have lots of hats. Okay, well, we'll do that. And, you know, and uh, maybe you'll wear the wig once. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, uh, if I still have one of my old hair pieces that I tried for about a minute and a half in my life, <laughs> right, I'd, exactly. I'd wear one of those. <laughs> anyway, Ronnie, we love you, and we love talking to you, and we'll do it again in a couple of weeks, Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, timegoesby.net is where you can oh, find her blog. The lovely and attractive and formerly married to me, Ronnie Bennett. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GadNet, the great American broadcast network. That's uh, that's uh, that was a that was something, wasn't it? Little uh, little treat for you all to see Ronnie uh, in her all together. That's that, I think that uh, I think she looks great, to be honest with you. You know, and uh, a bra that was brave of her. I really think so. Very brave of her. I mean, you know, you have to give up something of of your dignity or what you perceive to be your dignity to do that. And then when you do it, you find out you didn't lose your dignity at all. So anyway, I, uh, boy, what a brave woman. I have so much respect for her. And, uh, uh, well, anyway, uh, we, uh, we now go to our, our phones uh, here. And uh, let, me, let me turn on the, uh, the line so that people can call me. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Um, if you don't know how to call us, go over to gabnet.net, and over there uh, you will find a uh, whole tutorial on the right-hand side of the page on how you can call using uh, using uh, Skype. Okay, that's the method we use. Um, you can also uh, find all our programs over there on demand, and uh, you can also find the video program, the video of this program over there as well. Let me see here. And when we're live, we're also live over there on the GabNet page. So there are all kinds of ways. We're, we're around town more than a cheap suit. We're on Spotify, and we're on Facebook, and we're on tw Twitter, and we're on, yeah, we're on everything. I've never really mastered Twitter, though. I Somehow I just can't shut up in that few, that terse of language, okay? But anyway, uh, but we do uh, uh, put all our postings from Facebook automatically go over to Twitter as well. Uh, let me see here. And oh, here comes uh, here comes Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. First in, first uh, first to uh, uh, check in with us. Hello there, Phil. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, I was listening to your interview with Ronnie. And put had you face, thought... Put, put your face a little more in the center of uh, the... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Just, there we go. Yeah, that's All better. right. Yeah, that's I better. had to move the camera. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I listened to the interview, I began thinking about the fact that you did one of those DNA... Um, uh, uh, one of those DNA things, you know, I don't remember which you, brand. Hey, also, lower your volume a little bit. You're distorting for some oh. reason. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how's uh, that? No, more. More, more, more. Yeah. More. All right. How's that? Uh, a little mm -hmm. more. Oh. Try the compressor. Yeah. Okay. Test. Now, now, yeah. you're, now you're oh, better. Okay. And make that All camera. Right. You got to get the camera up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, that's much better. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Take yeah. two. All right. <laughs> so I was, I was thinking as you were speaking with her that her son was able to find her through her DNA, right? Well, through, uh, you know, what happens is when you go to these DNA companies right. uh, and, and you get your DNA done, which I did, they then send you stuff like, here are matches close to you, you know? And in her case, she got one that said, this one's so close to you, it's probably your son. So yeah. that, that's what happened. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I've never had one of those DNA things done. Yeah. But... Uh, you know, and there's a possibility that there's a couple of little fills out, you know, running around out there. I paid for a number of abortions over the years. Yeah. Uh, 
And uh, what one crawled out of the uh, garbage can and managed to make it to safety. I, I had really good swimmers. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> they were expensive. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, I, I guess that's how uh, I treated uh, 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 s- s- uh, contraception in the seventies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, I was just thinking uh, it would be um, it'd be. Qu- It'd be interesting if uh, you got one of those knocks on the door one of these days. Well, uh, I mean, it could happen. You know, yeah. I mean, there's always that possibility. And of course, you have the choice of whether you want to reply to it or not. I mean, I think uh, Ronnie, when she explained it uh, a couple of weeks ago, said that, you know, she she thought about whether she should reply and whatever. You know, there's that, that reluctance. But it's mm-hmm. turned out into a very happy thing for her, especially considering all the else that's going on in her life. This yeah. kind of puts a... Uh, 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 Andrews and Darnell is the old school, guys. What? You know, we come along. What's that? Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about What's that. What's that, television? I changed, yeah, I changed the input on my TV, yeah. <laughs> uh, which I thought, I thought was muted. That's, and when it got that, to live TV, it certainly wasn't. That's Rob, by the way, Rob Alfano. Uh, if his voice sounds familiar, it should be familiar to you if you listen to GabNet at any amount of time. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, she she had the opportunity. They give you that opportunity to either reply or not reply or whatever. Uh, and uh, she did. And uh, it's been a really pleasant thing for her. You know, this is what she needed right now. She needed yeah. it. It kind yeah. of put a period on things, you know, it it uh, it let something resolve itself. I know that I had a kid when I was 19 that was given up for adoption. And I have to say that's always been a uh, big question mark in my life, you know? Now, do you think that the reason the kid hasn't popped up on one of the DNA websites is because it really wasn't yours? It was uh, Joey down the street? Well, I mean, there's always that, there's always that possibility, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was mine. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, what has to happen is that person has to say, oh, I want to give my DNA to the Mormons in uh, in in uh, Utah, Utah uh, so they can find out where I'm from and so on. And and mm-hmm. so what they do is they then say, and these are people that are closely matched to you. In fact, they sent me a close match and it was my cousin. So I know that they're, they're pretty accurate about this sort of thing, yeah. you know. Uh, let me let me adjust my uh, panel here because I'm completely blocking Kevin. There we go. Well, now now, that, your, looks now good. that your DNA is in Utah, are you tithing to the church? Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think it's a fascinating thing that's happened to her. And I, if you go onto her site, uh, which is timegoesby.net, and read the account of it, it, it really <laughs> will bring a tear to your eye, you know? Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. with all else that's going on in her life, you know, which... You know, a couple of weeks ago, she said, well, maybe I have outset two years to live, and now it's down to a year, you know, and... Um, they don't know, you know. They really don't, you know, and they'll tell you they don't know. They can only give you a, a, their best guess, you know. It's yeah. funny, they wouldn't do that with my dad. They told my dad, you have inoperable pancreatic cancer. Well, The best yeah. advice we could give you is to go home and research it. Okay. They would not give him. They did not say you've got a year because they asked. Yeah. You know, obviously they asked, and the doctor said, "Best, best we can tell you the the best way to just tell you to is just to go home and and just yeah. do some research." And on so, it. from that diagnosis to the time he passed, how long was that? Uh let's see. Got the diagnosis in February of twenty ten, mm-hmm. and he died in today. Seven years ago, so December eleventh, twenty eleven. Wow. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that actually, he did pretty good for somebody with pancreatic cancer. You yeah, know. when you consider that, you know, uh, when you consider that um, we started noticing weight loss probably around the October time frame. Yeah, uh, he didn't get the diagnosis until February. But around October before is when we got the diagnosis. Uh, is when we said, I was like, hey, you know, you're losing weight. He goes, no, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I had a friend it, of mine. It just sort of, and I was thinking about that. 
when I was listening to, uh, you know, the interview with Ronnie and she was talking about how incredible it is to her that there are these things going on inside of her that are going to kill her pretty much. And she outside of the fact that she's a little winded yeah, and the side effects of the chemo, she has absolutely no idea anything's wrong. Yeah. Um, uh, in mm-hmm. fact, you know, last year she had pancreatic cancer and they did it. They actually were, it was operable. Right. And they operated on it or they gutted her like a carp, but they, they uh, did that. And she, um, uh, uh, she was pronounced cancer free at one point. And then they went in, they took a, their regular CT scan and they said to her, you have inoperable lung cancer and, and, uh, something in the gut. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, and uh, just told there's nothing we can do. Now, yeah, I find that hard to believe that it's inoperable. You know, I mean. Because you know why? It's, of course it's not inoperable. What is, it's out of control. There's no way to get it, right? It's okay. not contained. It's spread. Too so much. while, yeah, so while you can operate, you're not going to. But here's the thing. She had spread around. She had one of the most inoperable cancers known to mankind, which is pancreatic right. cancer, and yet they operated on it and they got it all. Because yeah, they thought it yeah. was contained. So they, yeah. they think they got it all, but now it's obviously they didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, I, she said to me once uh, when we were talking, uh, this was off the air, that uh, somehow if you get cancer once, you're probably going to get it again. Not because it spreads, but because you're just prone to it, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, there are people who, get, who have cancer, who go through chemo, as she said, and then they go on to live another 15, 20 years. And I think that the reason I got the prostate cancer was my own doing. Uh, I had noticed uh, maybe in 2011 that uh, I had a urinary tract infection, and, or I didn't know it was a urinary tract infection. Yeah. Uh, I, I just noticed that I was peeing a lot. My uh, prostate was growing. Yeah, but that, uh, that, 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 that's, that's just, that's what they call benign prostate hyperplasia. But I didn't do anything about it. I lived with it. Yeah, but for, I don't think, for, I, I think you still would have gotten pancreatic cancer. I mean, yeah, I uh, think uh, that's, prostate cancer. I, also, I don't think that had anything to do with the prostate cancer. You don't think, you don't think it's, uh, mm-hmm. they, there's something they can no, do no, to, no. Uh, to deal with it? No. You know, it's not. No, they they can do something to stop. You'll be an antibiotic if you have a, no. if you have like a urinary tract infection. And if and, you have an enlarged mm-hmm. prostate, you can take uh, finasteride. You can take Cialis, uh, mm-hmm. and those well, things will. Well, maybe eat, if I did, that would have reduced it. No, so I no, wouldn't know. No, no, no. Cancer is cancer. Lots yeah, and lots you, you, and lots of men. You also got to remember that uh, cancer is, in a lot of ways, in all of our bodies, and right. our immune system is constantly fighting it. Yeah, and yeah. it's just a matter of whether your immune system continues to fight it and beat it off, and yeah. that's that's the whole thing. Is you know some of your immune systems you know die off, you know don't aren't as strong as you get older, and then it doesn't attack those certain. Also, pieces. I mean, we what also, happens? as she said, people have different kinds. I mean, like for instance, right, you know, most men if they live long enough will have prostate cancer, but they're not right. going to remove the prostate over it. You know, right. I mean, I I just came out with a, a while back with a, uh, a rise in my PSA. It went up to like a 3.3, which is still low for my age. Very low for your age. For my age. But, but you know, it could go higher and higher and higher. And all of a sudden, they'll take a look at it and say, well, you've got it. You know, but it's very, at my age, it would be very slow growing. And they figure, hey, I'm going to be dead from something else before this ever gets me. So they just keep an eye on it. But uh, you'd be amazed at what your body is fighting y- all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, on the other hand, I figured out one of the reasons it went up is because I was working out. I was doing I was doing the cycle every day, and then I took three days off before the test. But they say that can raise your prostate, uh, your, mm. uh, your PSA. Yeah. So you know, I, but I don't know. But I'm worried about it because I got to go take it again. And uh, I, quite frankly, I don't. I'm, I want to stop taking them. I don't care. I, I don't think I'm going to die of prostate cancer. Okay, I think. I think Just it's tell co- your doctor you're I, your own. I think my boss. wife's going to kill me. That's what I think's going to happen. <laughs> you know. And you know something? It would then be. She would then. It would be considered justifiable homicide. So you know. Yeah. I mean, how is she doing? Uh, well, she doesn't have cancer. 
Uh, no, we oh, took no, it. We took it. To the, we took it to the doctor on Monday. That would be yesterday, mm -hmm. right? Boy, I, yeah. it's hard to Time believe. Time flies. That. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-four hours ago, and he uh, he looked at the. Uh, they took an X-ray and they showed it to us, and her knee is now perfectly aligned and everything. Nothing's broken in there, and uh, he they tightened up the uh, brace, and she was going to go to work today, but it was hurting a lot because the brace is tighter than it was, and she's having to get used to that. So she's probably going to go to work tomorrow, but she's uh, she's doing okay. In case people don't know, in case you were away for several weeks, she. Got pushed by a tourist accidentally, fell to the ground, and broke her knee. Either that or she didn't pay off a debt. Uh, I can't figure out which to the mob, and they, 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 they broke her knees. Um, but it's, uh, you know, she's got that. Uh, is there a dent there from. What? Is there a dent from a ball hammer? Wait, wait a minute, you're breaking up on us. For some reason, you're breaking up on us, Phil. And you're, Son of a you're whirling around. And your video's locked. Now, now it's back. Oh, now I'm on back. the wrong network. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, let that... me, yeah, let yeah. me try this. Yeah, yeah. Go, go to your but other network. It's connected when he changes networks. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm, we go. I'm connected now. Okay, that okay. Oh, so that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's this is the 5G. Um, uh, but it, you know, she, uh, she's, um, uh, she's got the the uh, the brace on her leg, and it's going to be there for another five weeks. And then a lot of the chemotherapy. But, uh, I don't know, somehow she's been lying in bed huh? so much. Chemotherapy? At, uh, chemotherapy. I mean, therapy. I'm thinking. Yeah, Ronnie, chemo on your mind. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 physical therapy. And, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, meanwhile, these pills kind of make me woozy and make me forget things. And I get loopy. But, you know, it also helps my feet, so. What the hell? Well, I'm not I'm not taking those pills, and I forget stuff, and I'm loopy. Yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, well, uh, uh, on to a nicer topic. A nicer uh, topic. There was a there was a website yeah. in San Francisco. Oh yeah. That yeah. Uh, so, uh, somebody that I knew and and Alex knows now probably uh, uh, posted a, uh, a a reaction. Someone said, "Where did Alex Bennett go?" It's a it's a site about San Francisco. And oh, so he, I saw you join that. Yeah, so he posted his he posted his show, and Alex said that he got almost eleven hundred uh, uh, yeah. views. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so I uh, then went on and I said, yeah, I really am still around, and if you want to see my show, and I gave the latest one on Friday from Friday, and we got seventeen over seventeen hundred views. That's Holy crap. that's fabulous. <laughs> I posted a little uh, a picture. And I got uh, like 225 likes or 260 likes, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I've been on that site for quite a while. What, what yeah. we we uh, can we see your video, or do you just want to show your picture of you as uh, the thinker? Uh, well, you know what, I'm I'm out in a, I'm kind of underway right now, so I don't know if I'll you know how it will go. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I I was thinking. <clears throat> the other day, Bree, by the way, is in how... in Dubai. In case you're wondering. Yes. Uh, turn sideways. Turn the camera sideways so we get. I was just thinking go. how unusual, yeah. you know, the show is and um, just how amazing. I mean, where, you know, you have these shows like The View where, you know, people are are talking about topics, but yeah. it's mainly Megan McCain sh trying to shout over everyone. But uh, I know the show. feeling. Yeah, but, but he, <laughs> But here is, you know, this show, and I wonder why, I don't know, I, I just think it's amazing. I, I guess maybe it's it could be too slow for some people. Um, well, you know, they're, they're yeah. used to commercials, um, and they don't know each of us. So, you know, maybe we, in, 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 in like Star Trek or other shows, they'll have an episode where they, they focus on one character. And then that then the audience knows them. I, but I don't know. And also, this is this mass communication, mass media, or are we interpersonal? And gr I think we're group communication. This, so it, it, let me put it, it this out. way. Uh, th with the amount of people we have, this is called narrow casting. Or we used to call it narrow casting instead of broadcasting. And this is so narrow, it's actually anorexic broadcasting. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the... the 
the current state of affairs. But uh, where else can you go to really have these conversations? We we can talk about anything. Yeah. There's many of us from all different places. What an amazing resource! It's like a ongoing focus group every night. I think it's a. I think it, it, we came up with a format that is has not been done in radio, uh, or broadcasting, or narrow casting, or anorexic mm-hmm. broadcasting, uh, anywhere in the uh, in in the history of radio. But you know that doesn't matter. Here's the problem with the show: it's two hours long. Do you know what people listen to? Stuff that's five minutes long. Yeah. You know. Uh, I just watched is a very good uh, documentary on um, uh, where was it Amazon about it was called Amer- or maybe it, maybe it, no it was Netflix American Meme in which they did a, a a documentary on all these people that have gotten famous because of the internet because of like. Uh, uh, well, what was uh, Vine, and then they that was done away with, and uh, but you know Twitter and so on, and people like Paris Hilton who got famous, uh, and uh, it's a very interesting documentary because there are people there that you go, you know, I spent my whole life honing my talent, and these people don't have anything except they know how to you know smash a watermelon over their head and get a million views. And then they happen to be wearing a pair of sneakers that the company's paying them $150,000 to wear while they're smashing that watermelon over their head. Yes. Well, Paris Hilton had sex on TV. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's a little different. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Bree. Bree. Now I can't hear you, Bree. Now you're muted. You're muted, Bree. Uh, I'm walking uh, yeah. to a place on another side of town, so we'll see if it if so. I may be in and out. Once okay. I get there, I'll log back try in. Try and go, try and, quickly. Alex, try and go landscape, will you? Because that always looks better okay. and it fits better here. Yeah, there okay. we go. And so, uh, so Alex, uh, I would like to propose topics that you could do on your mini five minutes to post to YouTube that could that would do this. Yeah. For one, uh, if you watch. Blackpink. Blackpink is a K-pop uh, band, and they have a controversy right now in Indonesia. K-pop is they Korean pop, right? Yeah. yeah, Korean pop. Korean pop, right. But it's changing. There's, there's a bunch of different things going on with it. And uh, if you were to weigh in on the controversy of Blackpink's television commercial in Indonesia, I think you'd get a million hits. And... You know, I, I mean, I don't know if you want to, but <laughs> that's the try. question. Well, first of all, I have to know what Blackpink yeah. is. And care. I can tell you. I can give you the. I, I'm a blink, so I can. I tell mean, you it everything. sounds like the name of a uh, of a of a uh, Afro-American um, uh, porno actress. Uh, you know. You can't. I don't think you'd say that. I mean, if you do, if you do a legitimate uh, critique. I think you could get a million. Hits. Yeah, but what, what what good would that do me? Because I want people here to be, care about what I'm saying. I, I think you get paid well, money when you get fun. a million hits. Yeah. Do you get paid money by if, YouTube? In a yes, million? if you sign up for it. Oh. If you're going to search for topics, it's to me that's sort of like you could go on the air and become a right wing talk show host. You've got to talk about things that you have. Uh, an interest in, I think. I think you have to to sound to sound. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Alex? To sound um, uh, not legitimate, but acurant. Um, Say again. Acurant. <laughs> yeah, you know, just to sound, uh, you know, like you like you're serious, that you're legitimate, yeah. that Structured you mean it, and all that. No, no, that you mean it. That it's it's there's a word sincere. <laughs> You, you, know, really you don't want to talk about things that you don't know anything about. You got to find. I think you have to. I think everybody who's successful on the internet, whether it's on YouTube, wherever it is, they like the the makeup girl. She loves makeup. She's making a fortune. She's well, not. Doing I, I a, figured one a, the other day. There, for instance, there's a game, there's a game I bought. It's called Red Dead mm-hmm. Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is one of the fastest selling uh, uh, video games of all time. Oh, um, of all time, which is pretty terrific, uh, but it sucks. So I was thinking of doing just a short thing that's about 
five minutes long about the five things that suck about Red Dead Redemption. And yeah, I'll that bet would be you, cool. I, and I may try that, and I bet if I just put it up on YouTube and with, the, with the hashtags and so on so people will see Red Dead Redemption, uh, I bet I could get, I bet I could get at least 25,000 hits. So here's you, what's going to happen, Alex. For you're going to you'll become a superstar sensation because nobody will be expecting somebody your age talking about that. Yeah. But they may hate you because these people bought the game. They try to tell themselves that they made a good I don't care investment. if they hate me. I want to see how many people I'm going to get. I want to see why I feel the game. You're never sucks. worried about that. I paid fifty. Well, I fit paid fifty nine ninety five for this game, and it fucking sucks. It's like. It's a, it's, it takes place in the Old West, and it's a lot of people riding from one place to another interminably talking to each other. Oh, is this the one that you, like, you're a cowboy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, I heard you, about but that. But you begin to find how boring it is to be a yeah. cowboy. You gotta, you gotta like brush the horse, and you gotta do all those, it, it, yeah, like, daily yeah. cowboy things. You gotta I, I take care all of yourself. Those, all of those things are boring. I, I've 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 never got. Oh, I don't know. I games. I play uh, Again, as a game, and I'm kind of stuck on it. I, I, I kind of got stuck, and I and I stopped the playing it. But Oof. it's really good, uh, which is Tomb Raider, the latest Tomb Raider game, uh, Shadow of the of the Tomb Raider, and it's really good because there's constantly stuff you got to do and places you got to go, and it's not like she's got to run for ten minutes and be talking to somebody. <laughs> you know, it's like she's got to go here and she's got to jump over that and she's got to find this thing so she can go to that thing and she's got to solve this puzzle. And it's it, it, it kept my attention. The only thing was I hit something that was so hard I couldn't get past it. And it, uh, I'll probably go back to it and be able to do it really fast when I finally do do it. But or do what I do, which is go search for the cheat codes. Well, there yeah. aren't there <laughs> aren't cheat codes. There used to be cheat codes where you could go Come like on. skip over a certain area and get to the next really? thing. Yeah. Now I, I liked uh, uh, Pong when it came out. Oh. I had one of the original <laughs> Pongs, and, and that was interesting. And 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 then I got into uh, Pac Man. Uh, I used to play it at this bar. Uh, matter of fact, Alex, you went to that bar for my 30-some-odd birthday. Might have been my 30th or my 35th. Was that the I don't 3 a.m. club or something? No, no. It was uh, uh, it's the Silver Cloud. Uh, it was the Silver Cloud on Laguna and, and Lombard. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, that's where my ex threw my birthday party. Yeah. And uh, so they had a tabletop Pac-Man there. And I used to play that thing like it was going out of style. But... Uh, I, you know, I it has gone months. out of style, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I'm always out of style. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I never, I never got into the games. It just seemed like yeah. such a waste of time. Yeah. Do you know how much it cost them to make this Red Dead Redemption? Something like probably a two fifty, two hundred. No, probably a five hundred thousand dollars. To they make pay it? these guys a lot of to, money to make yeah, it. Yeah, they do. To the make voiceovers. It? This game the... costs something like fifty million to create. <laughs> Wow. Oh, so, yeah. a, they so have actors and uh, writers yeah. and, and orchestras and but that's just that's just talent. You're talking about people who program it and and yeah. make the thing work and it took them 7 years. Well, to how make long this is it how how much does it cost to make a feature movie? You know, oh, a lot more oh, than that. Uh, right? believe, yes, you, it probably costs a little more to make a feature movie, but you'll make less money than you will on the video game. That's right. Right, yeah. You know, so um, these video games, I got to tell you, fifty nine ninety five for a game, okay? And you can't get around that. Maybe you can get $10 off somewhere or something like that. But it basically, it's fifty nine ninety five, And they sold, I think, of this one so far, about uh, a million of them or two million of them. Well, how much is that? You know, that's 50, $59 million they made off this thing so far. But it cost them fifty million. Oh, so. I'd say yeah. They, I think I read a, a number around fifty million, something like that. Yeah, very wow. expensive, very expensive. But it's worth it. It's worth the investment. You know. I wonder how many of those things they make that don't sell. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there are those too. Uh, 
that's why, uh, you know, and I got to tell you, I look, uh, 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 I wish I could tell you the difference because you, you guys don't know from video games, especially Jeff. Uh, mm. Although for all I know, he could be a closet player, right? But mm. I got to tell you, uh, Red Dead Redemption, for all the money they spent on it, does not look as good as Tomb Raider, which probably costs less to make. Yeah. The Tomb Raider is gorgeous. And the people, the, 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 the people that you're manipulating, and I like this because I'm manipulating a woman. Uh, and uh, it, 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 let's see, it, uh, I, I really found this game gorgeous to look at. In fact, the last couple of games they've done were gorgeous. How much time would you say in a week that you invest in those games? Well, I finished one, and I think it, it took me, it, 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 I really couldn't tell you. I'd say maybe 100 hours. Not in a week. Well, not in a week. I'm saying 100 hours yeah, total for about playing how, the game. You know, I'm trying to think about how, how often, how many hours a day or so do you spend with video games? I don't. Right now, I'm not at all. Because I don't like Red Dead Redemption, and I'm stuck on, uh, on Tomb Raider. I could go back to one of the other games and play them. You know, but I'm I'm not ready to do that. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, and you can go back and replay them. You know, yeah, you, you find them more sometimes more fun the second time because you know you, you can go a different way. Yeah, can go a different things. way exactly. But anyways, I, I, I mean, I like I like video games. I think they're terrific. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I, it's, you should do a video game show. I think it would do very well if you restart. Well, yeah, you but I'm not, reviews. you know, I got to tell you, there are these guys, there's a guy named Rad Brad. And the reason I'm mentioning him is because he's played all these Tomb Raider games. And then what he does is he goes on YouTube and he shows you, he plays through the entire game on YouTube. Yeah. It's usually yeah. in chapters are like maybe 20 ch half hour chapters for a whole game. But he goes through it step by step. So of course I watch him so I can see what how he can solve certain things, you know. And he gets two hundred fifty thousand, half a million people will watch a particular episode of his uh, his uh, doing of it. And he's terrific. I enjoy not even playing the game, but watching Rad Brad play it. If you can imagine that. That's crazy when you think about it. Yeah, but it is entertaining. And, you, you know, know hmm? my, my camera friend uh, that has all those followers, he's got other YouTube channels. And one of them is he goes out to a seafood restaurant and he shows himself uh, uh, eating uh, copious amounts of seafood. And uh, then he critiques how good or bad uh, the, the restaurant was. And he's got an enormous amount of people that, that watch this thing. By the and way, I, I, Forbin, I watch Corvette channels. There's a bunch of uh, guys who have Corvettes, and I watch their channels, and I watch all their videos. I could spend hours, yeah, and yeah. I watch how-to videos. Oh, they're doing this. Oh, what do they do with that? And I, I get, like, just completely immersed in it. Uh, it, it uh, uh, Forbin Colossus, who writes on here, said, I tested games at LucasArts in San Francisco. I did voices at LucasArts in San Francisco. <laughs> Uh, I did. I was on a game called uh, what was it? Oh, it was. A, uh, 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 oh my God, I, my mind's gone. I forget it. It was a motorcycle game. Yeah, uh, Tom would know. I, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of it. Uh, um, but I have a copy of it. They just re-released it, and I downloaded it to watch yeah. to, to play it to get to my part, which is way into the game. <laughs> you know. I'm the Smashatorium announcer. And um, uh, what was it called? Damn it. Oh, God. I'm, I'm really... Th these pills... Star Wars? These, these gab a pen and pretty soon it's going to make me forget who I am. What? So, was it called Star Wars? No, it wasn't called Star Wars. But uh, Anyway, but Red Dead Redemption... It's, it's, and then Marty Crash says, anyone play Red Dead Redemption yet? I guess you haven't been listening to this program, Marty. <laughs> I Maybe have. he's asking others. Damn it, I have. He might have been asking others. Yeah. Um, hey, you know, we, we all start wearing the Gabnet outfits, the, uh, you know, the pajama bottoms. Yeah, now I notice that three people on here have the same glasses. Uh, uh, now, uh, Rob and Bree 
uh, both wearing the silhouette, same model, just silhouette. about the same, yeah, same shape. So now everybody that wears glasses is going to have to start wearing silhouettes. <laughs> well, these these are uh, Costco. Yeah, they're good. They're fine. Uh, they're, oh, they're those are readers. Yeah. yeah, and these these new ones that I got actually are pretty solid, pretty rugged. Um, and uh, I, you know, but I I try not to wear them much because. I'm getting too yeah. used to them again. Anyway, um, so let's see. What else is going on in the world? Well, is the obvious. <laughs> Do you want to go there yet? Bring it up. Yeah, bring it up. Okay. The noose Some is day. tightening. Uh, no, uh, no, that's just. Uh, well, let me let me let me bring this wishes. one. Let me bring this up first. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Time magazine finally has named its person of the year. Uh, that was, yeah. Well, don't 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 put it down, Kevin. Well, I'm not putting it down. I, I'm seeing I'm, the I'm, I'm seeing the method bold. the method in the madness here. Time yeah. magazine took the Raps off its choice for its 2018 Person of the Year. I remember the year they made uh, what was it? The, uh, uh, somebody in computers, not not a name person, but the app. I thought it was the Apple computer or something. Yeah. Well, anyway. Oh the, oh, the computer was the person of the year. Yeah. yeah something like yeah, that. Well, there's yeah. definitely a so. message behind it, obviously. But anyway, it says in a piece published Tuesday under the headline "Guardians and the War on Truth," the publication singled out the Guardian journalists who have been tar have targeted for their been targeted for their work. Uh, Kasoji is makes. I think they have several different covers. Uh, yeah. And different peop uh, mm -hmm. people being uh, on it. The Capital Gazette, Maria Ressa, uh, Wallone, and Kayawa Soed. Ooh, I can't know who that is. Uh, but their time per Times Person of the Year. Uh, I think this is kind of what, what if, if we were to encapsulate who the Person of the Year is, what would it be? Donald Trump. Well, press. it would be the press. And it would yep. be the war on the press. Yep. Uh, and and the person of the year, in fact, is fake news. Yep. Well, uh, you know, it's funny. I you know I watch these shows and I see, uh, uh, like on CNN and and others, they're they're saying, oh well, now they've uh, they, they didn't say indicted, but they uh, named uh, Trump as um, person number uh, one. Person number one. And, uh, you know, th that these are uh, felonies that uh, and, you know, other other stations are saying this. This is not, in fact, the case that. Uh, well, what are other uh, stations? Well, if Fox for one. OK. <laughs> well, hey, you laugh, but, you know, what? No, I hear what well, I'm just what, the other side. Yeah, of but the no, 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 no. It's and I'll tell you. And, and the left is just as guilty of this. But you guys have a tendency to always go to Fox because it agrees with you, well, you know, and, 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 the, and the right the has a tendency to go to MSNBC because it agrees with them. Now, let me say this. I'm getting increasingly bothered by MSNBC. I never watch that shit. Uh, yeah, I'm increasingly they, they're getting out of hand. Well, they're getting well, out of hand because everything is bashing Trump. Now, All if now time. I don't mind if at night when you've got your commentators, they bash Trump. OK, they're commentators, pure and clear. All right. But, but during the day the when the, when you're calling those things newscasts and you're being extremely biased and spending the whole hour spinning uh, uh, the 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 uh, uh, Trump as an you know, as an asshole, which he is, I think it's, it's something very wrong with that. And it, yeah, it's, it's getting it's, to bother me. It's a whole me. hour of the same thing, and then they go to the next hour and they repeat it all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it, it, it well, gets that's old. what they do. Yeah, it gets uh, old. That's because most people, unlike us, only watch an hour and then they go away. But you know, we but nevertheless, in that hour, day. in that hour, for the whole hour, you're getting Trump bashing. I, I'm you know, I it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's other news in the world. You know, oh, that's usually when I switch over to Fox to see if they're Trump boasting. Yeah, well, but then you you're going to go the other I way. You know what I do? I go to the BBC and I feel like I'm taking a shower. Yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> you can know? Take, I can only take so much of Fox. Exactly. And, and I can only and I can't take much of CBS or any of the other ones because you can see I can see 
uh, their partiality to uh, to being anti-Trump. And, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're, CBS is telling you what the news is. They're not commentary. Mm-hmm. There's no commentary. They're they're reporting facts. Uh, you don't uh, like yeah. Facts. Let me let me let me say this. Think. Let me say Come this. On. It's the CBS evening news you're talking about. No, no. I'm talking about uh, the the uh, CBS. Uh, uh, the uh, oh, oh, yeah. They, they, that crap. No, that's right. different. That's put, all, put on the nightly news and see what's going on. Yeah, the nightly that's news. A, the nightly news is pretty. Uh, uh, you mean uh, your Luster Holt guy? Yeah. Uh, unbiased. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it's, all what, it's called unbiased. it's called milk toast. Half hour unbiased. Get well, it why done is being on. unbiased milk toast? Yeah. You know, why because, is being unbiased not just decent well, journalism I, I with no frills? I don't, I don't listen to that uh, thing. Maybe I, maybe I should. You know, uh, but, but that's I, only thirty minutes. Well, I find it's Lester Holt. Even. I find Lester Holt disgusting because after every story, he's got to have some kind of little fun comment like. Yes, doesn't that all make us feel good? Or, uh, yeah. oh, how about that kitten? Don't you just love kitties? You know, I mean, he does he's stuff like, like he's that. He's trying to imitate that guy, uh, that on the road uh, guy. He's dead now. Charles uh, Carroll. Charles, Charles Carroll. Yeah. While he was on the road, he was fucking a lot of women. Do you know that story? About well, good for him. Carole? Carole? Yeah, yeah, he was, uh, he was a real player. Crap, don't look like the type. <laughs> hey, th- that means there's still hope for us. <laughs> You know, but anyway, I mean, um, uh, I just I just find that uh, I'm getting increasingly disgusted with watching MSNBC because I'm it's just the same drum beating all the time, you know, and the same bashing of Trump. Now, uh, you know, I but think they're using the same theory that Hitler used. If you repeat it often enough, no. it'll be true. Oh, no, that's Which that's that's that's, 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 Trump that's what Trump does. Yeah. The same well, no, the, but MSNBC and all of those other bashers, they're doing the same thing. No, it's not the same and thing. From their it's angle. Not the same, you know? It's not the same thing. Uh, what Trump not does, in office. It, what Trump does is the big lie. He keeps telling mistruths over and over and over again. Today, he was telling a, bi- a major mis- mistruth. Oh, you about, mean the wall about stuff? The, about the wall stuff. Yeah, he was yeah. absolutely lying about every inch of what he, he was saying. He said he was given those statistics, so this way oh. you can't blame him. But number number one, I think he stood up to Schumer and Pelosi and uh, and showed them that he wasn't going to back down. I think and, I think uh, we I, the, I think I, like I think we I think we saw it through different eyes. Phil. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, you, know, you see them. You see them through. What I saw numbers. there was a president who should have had that kind of meeting in private. Yep, should have shut it down. Had a private meeting. Well, I, I think he's trying to. Uh, no, he should have. He should have had a private reality meeting. TV, reality TV, folks, this is where he comes from. Well, so he, he went right back that? to the Apprentice there. So yeah. he created a, a reality TV today. But yeah. the point was that. Everything he was saying was completely wrong. To begin with, there is no wall. Has, the wall has not been built and hasn't even been partially built. There is some barbed wire they put up in a few places, but that's about the extent of it. And so far as all these things about murderers being stopped and uh, spot, it you know, says 10, uh, 10 all, actual All actual lies. They were oh. lies. They were 10 people... When, when it was checked out, there were 10 people who were stopped at the border because they were on the terrorist watch list, but there was no proof that they, in fact, were the terrorists on the watch list. They well, just had the, the, they just the had the, they, wait a minute, they just had the same name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 what, what, what are some Mexican names? Gonzalo. Yeah, Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're not Mexicans. But what I'm anyway, saying, what I'm, they all look alike. They're Come South on. Americans, and they don't all look the same. They speak alike. They act alike. They're cousins, <laughs> identical cousins, two of a kind. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. Trumpism. Yeah. Uh, but right. no, it was it was uh, uh, you know he was lying like crazy. They did uh, they right afterwards. They went and did some. Uh, some checking, fact checking on all of this, and it was all a lie, including the fact yeah. that he's built part of the wall. Does it surprise you? Well, they gave him uh, well, how much? One, uh, what, how, they gave him uh, like uh, a billion or one and a half billion or one point six billion, uh, and he has built 
Yeah. No, he has not. He has What's he done with the money? Nothing. Did he just pay off more hookers? No, he spent the. They spent the money. He spent it on barbed wire. On barbed wire. <laughs> well, barbed wire's good. To put on the shit that he's already got. Well, uh, I guess uh, a lot really? of those areas were very weakly. Uh, uh, yeah, but he supported. said he was built the new stuff. And he now, Phil, now Phil, what, what this stuff. guy wants to do is to hold up the the budget. In other words, uh, kill the budget, which will die, what, next Friday, if I'm not mistaken? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, Something next like, Friday. Next Friday. A week if from we, this If Friday. we don't agree to build his wall. And right. you know what well, he's going to do? Wait a minute. Fin let me finish this. You know what he's going to do by not, uh, by killing the uh, the uh, appropriations uh, for the Yeah, budget? there'll be a small percentage of the government that won't be working. Mm -hmm. uh, Most of the government uh, won't no, be working. He said like no. 15%. Well, that's enough to make a bad Christmas for uh, those families. I have a feeling he's it'll be this, national he's, parks. He's, he's the Grinch. Correct. Well, it'll be national parks. He's the it'll Grinch. Be, uh, Wait a minute. He's yeah. the Grinch. He's going to steal Christmas from these families. And then he's going to have to pay no. them anyway when he opens the government. Cause that's exactly. How <laughs> yes, so, gonna, exactly. so what's going to happen is, yeah, okay, so they shut the government down. These guys, if they're living paycheck to paycheck, then they got a problem. But it's their they, own damn fault, right? Yeah, it's their own yeah, damn right. fault, Phil. The it, things are too expensive these days, and they can barely make ends meet because the government doesn't pay enough. Well, then they should go to France and burn down yeah, uh, the Champs Elysees anyway. because they're saying there that they that they you know they're so uh, cli pro climate change, but because of the taxes that are being generated <laughs> through climate change and your carbon taxes, uh, these people can't make ends meet. And now uh, they're putting on yellow jackets and they're going into the street and they're burning down the, the Champs Elysees they're and not, they're, uh, I, they're, they're not Arc burning. De they're not. You try and burn they're down the Arc de Triomphe. They're looting stores along the Champs Elysees. They are okay. And, and they're and you know they're burning cars and tipping them over. And uh, it, it, have you seen the pictures of what's going on there? It's every weekend. Hoodlums. No, every weekend. The weekdays they take off. Yeah. <laughs> they have regular jobs. <laughs> they have regular jobs, and they take. They gotta off. have lunch. <laughs> you know, uh, in in France, they they take off four hours. For, well, your uh, perception of the world is really fucked, Phil. Yeah, it's really, it's really weird. Well, you know? I just uh, view it from a from an uh, an accurate angle. You know. You see, I mean, you should if you if you're like Trump, you he hates Macron too. So he and the looters have something in common. Did you hear the Macron is actually now saying he's going to give he's trying to pay pay off the looters the same way uh, uh, Daniels got paid by Trump. Uh, you're going to get a bonus and it will be tax free. Yeah. So and not a uh, blowjob has to be given. Uh, well, he's he's giving him a blowjob. He's just paying for it. He's not getting one. <laughs> what what, what uh, Rob, did you say, want to say something? I just had a senior moment. I completely w went out of my mind. <laughs> I, I was just going to say something that was related to this, and whoosh, goodbye. Yeah, yeah well, and I'm I, not on Gabapent. Well, I Gabapent. I just thought that uh, you're on Gabinet. Gabin, on Gabapent. Alex, yeah. Gabapent Alex, should uh, come out with your this. Uh, game was full throttle. Yeah, full full throttle. Right. There you go. Okay, go back on that. I digress. Okay, no, but I'm I'm thinking Corbin they should that. gabapent and they should uh, call the uh, the brain fart medicine, you know, it's a constant brain fart. CRS medicine can't remember shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know you know why Alex uh, has the uh, the panel uh, and we're the uh, we're called um, inex uh, cheap or uh, free content. <laughs> you know, where else can you put on a show? You get free content. Well, if, I, if you're free content, what am I? <laughs> you know, um, ribble. You know, I'm actually paying for this. You yeah. Know, not right. a lot, but I'm paying for it. You know, I pay well, for that's the, one way to get friends. I pay for the bandwidth every month. I pay for the web website space. I, you know, I pay. I pay through the nose. Yeah. You know. I have to pay every month for my uh, for my Adobe uh, uh, suite, you know, to do all the artwork and the audio and stuff like that. So you know. So what's what's the difference between you and Trump? Trump had to pay uh, for uh, his girlfriends not to talk. You know, you got to pay. 
You know, nothing in life is what free. I have to pay you to talk. No, no, no. I talk for free. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. I talk to hear myself talk. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I don't know how this thing's going to ferret itself out, but I, I can't believe that Trump isn't losing a little sleep over all of this. I know. Uh, I'm sure he's angry, but you no, know what? Not, no, 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 not, not losing sleep from anger. Losing sleep because he knows the reality of what's going on and where the truth lies. Yep. You know, and uh, that uh, all they got to do how, is all they got to do is get him on just one of these things. But how are you so sure that's the truth? How how can you be that sure? I know I know Rob is saying, "Hey, I believe it because I want to believe it." Uh, no. But how do you know it's the truth? Look at Donald Trump's history. Because he lies <laughs> about everything, Phil. You know, so if, if, if he lies if, about it, so what? what? So what? You want a president? He's, the first, he's transparent because he's the he's first really president. Transparent. You know, we've, you we've know, gone, the, we've the gone, we've gone too. from our first president who said to his father when he chopped down a tra- cherry tree, "I cannot, I cannot tell, tell a lie," to a president who went, "Of course, I can tell a lie." You know, I mean, uh, except Washington was lying. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. Well, yeah, mm. Trump. He can't it. even find someone to be his new. Uh, uh, you know what? You I thought, I thought he nobody, nobody, what he wa- nobody wants to be his. Uh, his. Nobody wants the job. It's one of the most coveted jobs in the land. <laughs> yeah. Right. He it's says an honor. He, he says we've got anybody. we've got them so back. What does that tell you about we, this man? We've got people backed up wanting that job. Yeah, he says people are backed up wanting. Well, you yeah. know who want them? Yeah, they're Me- all backed up. Mexicans, so they can have a good job in America. <laughs> It's, it's shovel ready. And you, can, you can fire fire them every other day. Yeah, can't yeah. Get anybody. Uh, nobody wants to be chief of staff. It's amazing. Nobody wants to be chief of staff. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah, just unheard of. Uh, they don't want to be because they know that he's a handful. You know, it's impossible I mean, to work with. Nah. What were you saying? Now we can't find Jeff, anybody. So you Jeff? can't bring the best in. Jeff? Oh, just the best we're going to have. Yes, Jeff. Well, he had the best. Wait a minute. Then yes, Jeff. He, he, Jeff got his own. Jeff it also gives you a permanent bad reputation. Yeah, no I shit. You, you're considered to be an asshole. I mean, I can't imagine how happy uh, Kelly is. It Kelly is to not have yeah, that job General anymore. Yeah, yeah. But to not have that job uh, anymore. Uh, uh, I imagine he is just jumping through hoops. Because that has been a miserable job for him. You know, plus you had a guy who hired you because you were the expert and then he won't listen to you. And so, and he brings this guy in to be Secretary of State who ran ExxonMobil. This guy is a freaking CEO of this country, really, if you think about it. And, and then you listen oh, to what he says. Well, you know, you couldn't tell Trump anything. If he wanted to do something, you'd say, yes, Mr. President, I understand you want to do that. But you can't do that because it's illegal because of this, this, and this. He just couldn't accept that. It's because he's he's used to being as he, well, no, he a thinks, small he little thinks, family business. He thinks like we used to think when we were kids about the presidency, that if I was president, yeah. I could do anything I want to do. Right. Yep. <laughs> kind of like Truman, who ran a hardware store. What's that you know, have to do I mean, with? what's the difference what does that between have to running do a hardware store or another family where business that or come, real estate where, empire? Where did that come from? Well, Rob said, uh, you know, all he knows is uh, running a family business. And I'm saying to myself, well, Truman ran a hardware store. Yes, okay, but so, I believe but I, 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 I believe he was also Probably. He, he was in Congress, if I'm not mistaken. And he spent several years in government service before he became president. So he was on the government dole. You know, he learned the ropes. He learned the yeah, ropes. He learned, he learned how to steal and not get caught. Oh, did Truman steal? This is, this I'm is sure he did. They all do. What do you mean you're sure he did? How what dare you shit. say somebody steals this without is, having the goods on them? Hey, is, how could you accuse Trump without having the goods on him? Because we've we had the goods on him. No, you don't have no, the yes, goods on No, yes, we do. A they... bunch of commentators saying, oh, it's collusion, it's collusion. We don't have no, we nobody's don't have saying it's word. collusion. We don't have his, the collusion his, we don't have has... his attorney going to hell, not the hell. Only maybe person. going to hell, but going to prison. The yeah, only, yeah. His attorney, it was a crook, and, you know, Something and, like, in New York, you deal with a lot him? of crooks. How many tw- chose this guy to be his attorney? Well, he didn't know he was he, a crook? He's not his chief of staff, you know. But, uh, no, I'm sure he knew he was a crook, but, you know, I don't know. 
he kept them to do certain things. Yes, to fix yeah. stuff. To fix yeah. stuff, Phil. What does that imply? Well, sometimes you break stuff, you got to fix it. You got to fix it, yeah. It's amazing that you don't care. Yeah, well, it's I amazing that you don't care. No, you don't. You don't care about, about doing the right thing. You don't care about uh, But you see, I, I think he is doing the right thing, and I don't think there's any ethics in, 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 uh, in Congress or in the Senate or in the House uh, in government. There's no ethics. All of these guys go there with nothing. Uh, Barack Obama went to went to the Washington w with uh, one house and a big mortgage, and now he's worth a hundred million dollars. Uh, Hillary Clinton, they went there, they were bankrupt, and you know now they're worth a hundred and something million. Yeah, because you know, they get out, they write books, they make speeches, they get, they, may, they there's a little. It's payoff. That's payoff. No, it's not the, payoff. For, for, no, it's, it's not payoff. payoff for all the shit that they did when no, they were in not. office. No, it's, it's not. It's because this society is all about celebrity. That's how Donald Trump got into office. Celebrity. People yeah. bought into the bullshit that was the boardroom, the fake boardroom on the TV show. So he's celebrity. He became president because he's famous. People get off on that. So that's why these presidents get out of office well, and they make a lot of money because they're famous. And Reagan wasn't? You know? What about him? What about it? He was famous. I mean, you know, and now if you don't like his movies, I understand. But how do you think he got to be governor? Did he get to be governor because he was uh, such a good administrator? Actually, oddly enough, was... oddly enough, uh, Reagan did something which I thought was legitimate, and that was he took himself out of the public eye. In other words, he stopped doing the movie jobs and the TV jobs and just went around making speeches and getting to be known as a political person and then ran for office so as to not be cashing in directly on his movie rep. Well, you know, maybe what he was doing was his movie rep gave him the ability to go do speeches. In this and case, in this case, Donald Trump went from reality show host to president of the United States. So what's and now you know, we're expecting now we're, now now we're, we're he's asking to take someone who was a host on Fox and Friends and make her the the ambassador to the ambassador. United Nations. Can you imagine Nobody that? else will work for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's true. You know, I mean, the guy's got a problem with retention. And you know, employee why. retention. I mean, all these other people, like, uh, you... It's because it, he's getting it from all sides. He even gets it from Kelly Conway's husband. How, you know, th this guy's under under attack from everyone. And is everyone. It, could there be everyone. a real... Where there's smoke, there's fire. No, that's true. Everybody, everybody's that. wrong. Everybody's wrong. The whole world is wrong, and Trump is right. You know, if if, if you were in an elevator and Trump farted, you'd look at the other guy. That's what you'd do, <laughs> Phil. I was I was thinking, uh, you know, a fart doesn't mean there's shit, but uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> try a shart. Uh, <laughs> I'd hope not. Uh, but All right. It, so, what else is going on? That's it. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it, it. It. I just think that the wolves are at the door, uh, and and that's I. That's what they. You know, and in the beginning, I said, "Hey, this guy's never going to get impeached. He's never going to get this or get that." But I got to tell you, I think that when this Mueller thing comes out, uh, it, it's going to be pretty. This is the problem. He, uh, it, it, you got to look at this and compare it to John Edwards or uh, John Edwards. Yeah. Uh, what Trump did was he took his own money to try to protect his reputation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what's did, with John he Edwards? Not, John he Edwards he never use, became president of the United States. He never even ran. Well, he was he out was there trying to get nominated, but he never even ran. But he was prosecuted for basically the same thing, and that and he was not convicted. I don't know no, if he was no, innocent well, or or I whatever. I believe whatever they, I believe what the verdict he, was. I believe he pleaded guilty, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. He was not convicted, and uh, uh, and so somebody anyway, look it up if you somebody have a look it up. But, Kevin, uh, John you... Edwards. Uh, I know he was tried, but I believe he wasn't convicted. Well, then he went and, to a court of law and didn't get convicted, but. Listen, that's the he, deal. The bet, most that's going to happen is Trump will get impeached, but he won't get convicted in the Senate. Okay, so well, he's that, just impeached. May, but they can't impeach him 
for using his own money to protect. Oh yes, they his, can. His, if his trademark, if when you're reputation. when you oh, yes, his trademark, can. he was trying to keep a, two women shut up so they wouldn't talk about what they did, so he could win the presidency. No, that was the motivation. Could've, he could have done it to keep his wife. From finding out you could that use that as on. the ancillary excuse, but no, he, but that's the one he that did puts it doubt because that, that would kill defense, his that, nom- that, that would kill his campaign. That's the one that makes his defense. If you can prove, uh, you know, that it, that that wasn't his motive, that it wasn't to win the election, because he thought he was going to lose the election. He seriously was was as surprised as as everyone else was that he won. And so he thought he was going to lose. He thought he was just going to open up a, a news thing with Roger Ailes and, and have his own network. Really? And when he won, really? Where, where, yeah, where'd you hear that one? Uh, yeah, you hear it around. Did, you see? You didn't hear oh, that? okay. So you're around. <laughs> so you're so you're you're um, you're you're privy to doing the same thing you're accusing us of box. doing. Hey, I'm a donor. I got the hat. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Uh, you know what? Uh, I believe that he had no idea he was going to win, and when he won, he was a sup- He even said it. Uh, he said that you know he he didn't think he was going to win, and when all of a sudden the uh, states started uh, the the uh, results started coming in, he says, well, "What's going on here?" And uh, my Russian friends are helping me. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I happen to have donated money to Trump's thing, and my great grandfather was Russian. So therefore, uh, so there, if, I, there, if, there I could, if I could do a Russian accent, I tried to influence the election by donating money and buying the hat. Uh, and and I'm Russian. How many? I'm, I'm, I'm more Russian than what's her name is Indian, Pocahontas. There. Oh, now you're going to be racist. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, I can't be racist because she's not an Indian. One, two million twenty fourth or something. 2024? No, she's not. Uh, well, I think it was 125th Indian, something like that. No, 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 no. You have fake news, fake news. <laughs> you you got the same statistics that Trump had on the wall. <laughs> so, 125th. Listen, you, you, you try to go after Elizabeth Warren, a fine, yeah, that's wo- a fine woman who I personally can't stand. Okay? So don't try and win me over with your Elizabeth Warren <laughs> jokes. Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah. then you she's, thinking, join she's thinking of running for president, and if she does, boy, it's a uh, sad, no way. sad That's day a in the neighborhood. Win for Trump. Hmm? That's a win for Trump. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. A lot of time for Trump to be discredited before the next election, where he won't be able to run. He's going to come out with a tomahawk. <laughs> well, you know, they keep naming. You know, who they keep bringing up is Beto O'Rourke. He has no experience. Well, he, no, it isn't that he doesn't have experience. Neither did neither did Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so now that matters? Well, yeah, all of a sudden that matters. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. <laughs> he, could, he couldn't beat the guy in Texas, and he had the whole country donating well, money. Wait, wait a minute. He Hold, on a 70, Hold on he a second. Hold on a second. He came more money. He, to begin with, he came very close, first of all. Secondly, he was going after a Republican in hotly hot Republican area. Texas is very Republican. And I ask you do, do people like Ted Cruz more than they like Hillary he made, Clinton? He made, I think he, Ted he Cruz... Made, he made more inroads into winning than any Democrat has in the last 25, but 30 years. so did years. Trump. Uh, he, he won over Hillary Clinton because people didn't like her. Nobody likes Ted Cruz. I didn't li- listen, I, listen I, did, I didn't like Hillary Clinton, okay? But you yeah. voted for her. Uh, I felt I had to, but actually, did, did I vote in that I vote in that election? You know, because sometimes it, it if I or, or did I vote for her? Uh, because <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm a little loosey goosey with my vote in New York because hell, she was going to win this state anyway. You know, um, mm-hmm. uh, the reason I go into the voting booth is for all that other stuff, all those other people who are running for the local offices where one vote could make a difference. You know, um, yeah. So Did you hear what I, Comey said this what, week? What he you, doesn't remember anything. Kutner Comey said that he hopes that uh, that that no the, the Senate, yeah, that there's no impeachment because he feels like a third of the population will uh, will consider it a coup, and that's exactly what this country doesn't need right now. And he's right, actually. 
yeah, well, but well, the only thing is, I'd be surprised. I, I wonder if Comey is is going to get prosecuted or at least uh, 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 pushed no, a little bit no, further by the Senate. N- no, he won't be prosecuted. What, what's it going to so. be prosecuted? Not over the phony FISA uh, warrant and the dossier and all of that stuff? What do you mean? Uh, the dossier wasn't his, I don't believe. Yeah, it was brought to him and he used it to, uh, his people used it to get the mean, FISA warrant. You mean the Steele dossier? Yes. The Steele was, dossier. Why, would you, get, to why would you get a FISA warrant over the Steele dossier and know it hasn't been proved to be false? That's, that's, uh, that's what um, struck, struck and... Uh, and uh, his uh, girlfriend, and uh, yeah, but that's a whole Orr, di- that's Bruce a whole, that's a whole different story. You're, you're taking and, uh, you're, you're taking no, 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 it's not a different story. It, you know, the whole the whole investigation was started over that, and if that is proved over and what it over what the Steele dossier, phony, wait a minute, the Steele dossier, yes, no, yes, you just no. don't want to believe it. The Steele dossier, I, all it says is he liked to pee on women, no, 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 or have no. be peed on it, himself. No, it, 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 they were talking about Russian collusion and a bunch of other things. What, so you, what, to begin with, collusion is not the charge here. I, it was no, uh, no. Was the, pr- uh, 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 Trump always goes, "There's no collusion. There's no collusion." Right. Now, That's now not what we're saying. The that there's collusion. That somebody who would lie to save himself. That, there's uh, conspiracy, uh, Phil. There's conspiracy, mm-hmm. not collusion. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, and, conspiracy, according to Cohn, who's and trying to corrupt. stay out of jail. And there's corroboration. They're not going to just take what Cohen says without the corroborating evidence of all the other facts and all the other people they've talked to. You well, you don't Cohen, even know what what everybody else has said to them. You know, we only know tip of the iceberg right now. I think he's uh, that. You know, I'm surprised that he's leaking these memos. Uh, and you know, there's there's no uh, there, there's no fact to them. Or they can't be proven. Leaking what memos, Phil? M- uh, Mueller didn't, hasn't didn't, leaked uh, anything. Mueller uh, uh, provides certain memos uh, that uh, had this information in it that you guys because are... Because he, uh, he, he released reports. They're not memos. Releases, not leaks. Those are releases. They were purposefully released. They were purposely released because they were to be used in other cases, like, for instance, the Southern District of New York and the right. case against Cohn. And, right. and Mueller saying, "Well, here's how he cooperated with us, and this is this is not private material. This is material that is p- for the you, public." And you don't think the Southern District of New York is just being sicked on Trump? And no, not, they uh, found they found several. They found a lot of criminal stuff, not the least of which is a question about uh, Trump's uh, so-called uh, 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 what do you call it? charities. Well, there, there's something. Uh, if the FISA warrant was, in fact, the the reason that they were able to uh, have this investigation, and they find out that the FISA warrant was not uh, legitimate, uh, and th- and they're saying that it wasn't, uh, th- there's a thing well, called FISA, the fruit. That fi- uh, I know the fruit of the uh, tainted well, tree or something. Yeah. The fruit uh, of- and, and so that means that all discovery that but- was based on that. It gets thrown out. Uh, fruit fruit from the poisonous also, tree. The fruit of the poison tree. They they use it in law and they use it in police work. Yeah. So, for instance, if I were to arrest somebody and not have the proper probable cause, uh, anything I find uh, as subsequent to that is called the fruit of the poisonous tree, and it, it's all thrown out. Yeah. And uh, I'd be surprised if this. What does this have to do the with the fruit FISA? of the poisonous tree? No, it has be- nothing to do with it. Because you don't want to, do to accept that the FISA warrant was was not which legitimate. FISA warrant. The FISA warrant that was based on the Steele dossier. No, but what, what, and, and what, did, what did that FISA warrant state? It, uh, it right, gave them right, enough right, probable right, right. cause. Huh? No, it gave them enough cause to, who? Gave uh, who to probable appoint cause? A, uh, an investigator to, uh, to investigate. Which that investigator? They, uh, Mueller. You know, Mueller was appointed. Actually, the president okayed his appointment. Uh, wasn't it... Um, uh, it the, was him firing Comey. It was him yeah. firing Comey and that they wanted and to have then, an independent uh, Ro- investigator. And Ro- Rosenstein uh, created Mueller. Right. Yeah. yeah. As an answer to him firing a guy who was investigating him. Yeah. 
But uh, you don't you know, consider that you don't consider that based on the FISA warrant that was created from the Steele dossier. They used the Steele dossier provided by Bruce. You're making York. a big deal out of the Steele dossier, something that's yes, hardly it, because it is. A when's big the deal. last time you heard it mentioned? I, on Fox all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Ingram, what's her it. name? Laura Ingram. She's, oh, there's a brainchild oh, for you. Well, yeah, but she's you know, she's exposing this stuff. Yeah. Oh, she's not making yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. What do you like, mean she's not making it up? Come on. Because there were other Phil, guys that, that collaborate it. Collaborate it. Co- corroborate it. <laughs> collaborate. Yeah. yeah. They all collaborate. She and Trump and, you know. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Boy, you just, what, what's going to happen when, when, all, when all this comes out and it says Trump ordered uh, Cohn to, it. It to pay... Matter. Uh, uh, Stormy Daniels, let's say. Let's say they come out with that. They, 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 he was, he's complicit in having ordered and paid for right. Storm, the Stormy Daniels payoff. He did. I'm, I believe he did. Okay. And, 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 the and, and, and they want to charge him. They want to charge him with, with attempting to, uh, to uh, hide that fact because he was being elected. This is like back. rooting for. This is like watching The Sopranos and rooting for Tony Soprano because well, you I like did. the character. That's exactly what this <laughs> no, is. No, you yeah. know, it, you can't. You you can't. Do you want an America? Do you want America? That, do you want, America? Do you want us to live in an America? Do you want us to live in an America that's that corrupt? Now, did he pay off other people before he ran for president? Uh, what's her name? The other one? The, no, no, no. But I mean, long before that. Oh, probably. Remember okay, his, so remember his fixer way, friend who, is, huh? who owns. Remember his fixer buddy who owns the the, the choir. Uh, Come on, this guy's got people covering up for him every which way. Come on, I don't understand so, how you so, can buy listen, into anything. You make my said. point. Rob. What what is he going to have to do? Is he going to have to? Oh, is, is he going to have to? My point. Is he going to have to come over to your house, shoot Faye with a gun for you to say, "Hey, maybe he's not such a nice guy." I got insurance on her. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, Rob's, Rob's point was uh, that uh, he's got other people that had been doing this for him for quite a while. So if he wasn't running for president then, it only goes to show that this was his normal behavior, even though it's abnormal for people but to do this. you don't understand the law is the law, and he messed with an election it he doesn't didn't. matter. It, it, it's a presidential election. You can you can suppose it because you know what? Common sense doesn't matter in the law. So Facebook mess Common with an sense election. doesn't matter. Yeah, but look at look at the, yeah, of course it does. It's the facts. No. You have no. to have intent. And there's no. no intent there. His intent was to protect his marriage. Oh, to, now you're uh, now you're and, now you're sitting there figuring out what his intent was. No, he said it. How many he here? How many here ask. vote? How many here vote for trying to win the election? How many here is because he cares course, about Melania? He doesn't a give a shit this about Melania. He knows she's in place no matter what he does. Court. What no matter what he does because he's <laughs> got get, the money. I get two uh, what yeah, were you going to say, Jeff? A kangaroo court. Vote, vote for Melania. Yay. <laughs> Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, come on, Phil. I, come on. You can't, you, 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 come it, on. You're kidding it, this, us, right? This is an MSNBC survey this where is, you said, who, who, who thinks Trump did this the wrong is all, thing? This is all a put on, right, Phil? You really what? think you, you, you've got to know that this guy is a fucking crooked piece of shit. I don't think he wanted to win. I think I think from the very beginning, with the things that he was saying, he expected to lose. He was just grandstanding and never expected to win. I don't think he even wanted to win. And now that he's there, he's okay. You, so you, let's see here. You you accuse us of implying things about him, and yet you are giving intent and reason to all these various things. Number one, he never wanted and to be so president. He was only paying off these women to, so Melania wouldn't find out about it. Go on. You got a few more there, Phil? Yeah. Well, just think, you know, he's got a kid. He's got a kid with Melania. Uh, she's pretty hot. And, and you know, so it cost him a couple hundred thousand dollars to keep these women's mouths shut. Uh, and, you know, they, they, they just saw And he a pays payday. a couple of hundred thousand to Melania to keep her mouth open. What's the difference? I'm sure it would cost him a lot more than that if she went down the road. Even with a prenup, uh, I'm sure all his exes do pretty damn well. You know? 
Well, all I'm saying but, is, believe me, Melania has always known that probably Donald is fucking around. All right? It's not, that's not a problem. It was the same thing with uh, Hillary. I think Hillary knew that, you know. Uh, 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 Bill. Bill was, uh, was fucking around. You know, he, she knew that. But they both had the same desire, and it was political desires, and they were both political uh, uh, junkies. Junkies, you know. And and uh, the only thing that pissed her off about Monica Lewinsky is, okay, you can fuck around, just don't let anybody find out. And he broke that rule, right? You know. And now, the same thing's true with Melania. I don't think she cares who he's fucking around with. Hell, she's got the kid, she's got the money, she's got the prenup. Pop, 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 pop. All she cares about is that nobody else finds out about it. And this ain't exactly a case of nobody finding out about it. Well, do you think Hillary was fucking Vince Foster? No. Then why did she kill him? Oh, boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. This is what you learn on Fox News, huh? No, it's like a, it's like a scorpion or a spider. They, they, kill, their, uh, they kill their lovers. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I I think that you know the the Clintons were pretty corrupt, and uh, and and so you voted what, for. Her. What do you think of what do you think of uh, the former uh, Exxon uh, CEO? What's his name? Rex Tillerson. Rex Tillerson. What personally? What do you think of this man? You, I, were I you sort happy of that them. he made him right? Okay, so you sort of like them, and a lot of people think that he's a pretty you know intelligent guy. He, so what do you think about all that he said? He's just sour grapes, right? Here's a guy who's going to throw his reputation on the line and say, oh, he's he just going to speak he, out because he, he, he doesn't it, like it would, Donald Trump anymore and he fired him. Well, Come on. You know, there, there's a lot of people got fired by Donald Trump and not any, and only a few have spoken out and said that they uh, weren't happy with him. You even look at his and, past and, the and, attorney and, general. And, and, he, and, and a few of them were even fired when they weren't on The Apprentice. So that was okay, you know. Yeah, well, okay, well, bada boom. You know, it, it's, uh, uh, what's his name? What, what does uh, it say to you? What, it is, what does it say to you when he is looking for a chief of staff and nobody wants the fucking job? Uh, I thought he had found, well, no, he found an uh, attorney general and uh, a, a UN uh, secretary. Yeah, yeah, uh, but from Fox and Friends. Found, uh, he still hasn't found an attorney general. He had an interim, and now he... Who is he looking now to put in the as the attorney general? Um, I forget. There was uh, four people last time I heard, but... I think Scott, said Scott Bale, somebody. I think, is Scott Bale? Up, up for something, yeah. Uh, now, uh, there oh, was... Oh, there oh, was oh, chief of staff, Chris Christie now is... was. was well, was, yeah. You know, he had somebody that he trusted... Uh, I don't know how good a job she could do. She quit the the White House. She was a really good looking. Uh, she was his press uh, something, but she seemed to be able to keep a high him. High school intern. That's where they're, he's down to now. No, I don't know if she was a high school intern. She was with him for uh, a number of years, but she was very young. Uh, well, Pence's second you know, in command was Heather offered the job. Was or, uh, uh, offered the job, and he turned it down. Yeah. He said, yeah. Well, he said he's pen. got tr he's got triplets, and he wanted to go home. <laughs> How come he wasn't ready to leave Pence? Do you know something? A lot of people who are po po uh, work in politics would die to have that job. Would yeah. die to have that job. But none of them want Honor. it. What does that it say might, about Trump? Uh, it might be a career ender. I mean, he's got, Why is it uh, a career he, ender? Yeah, well, and the reason being is that the, he, Trump is under such attack from all sides, some of it legitimate, some of it not, but it's relentless. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Back and off a second, Phil. Le some of it legitimate. Wow. Would you tell big. me which ones wow. are legitimate? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, he, well, if I, could, if I knew exactly which ones were legitimate and which ones weren't, then if he had ones that were legitimate, they'd, they'd get them. Find him soon. We're going to find out in the next three months. I'll bet it'll all be over. Yeah. Now, what are you guys going to say when you find out he didn't do anything? Oh, well, yeah, I will. I will. Profu I did. will profusely apologize to you, Phil. Yes, me too. Actually, yeah, actually, right. so wrong. What are you going to say when he did? Yeah. Yeah. What um, are you going to say when he, he did? Oh well, no, he really he, didn't he do it. He was doing it's the just, right thing. He built the wall. He. Uh, raise, he lowered unemployment. He didn't uh, build the wall, Phil. There's been no wall built. 
hey, did you come across it? No. So there must have been a wall there because you didn't get out? No. When's the last time you went to Mexico? The most that's happened is some, what do they call it, coil wire was put up in various places. That, that was works. It. That's he, that's because they he wanted forty billion and they gave that's him one point six. That's not a wall that keeps cattle out. <laughs> Same thing. And Bush put that up. Yeah, but he fixed it. Obama put some of it up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I mean, and Obama said that he didn't want all these illegal aliens coming across uh, the border. And I and you know when Trump says he doesn't want it, all of a sudden he's the bad guy. I, I well, I think I think he. Is a bunch I, I, of think, more I think I think I oh, think that what Trump does, doesn't realize is that he has it in his power to keep all those illegal immigrants out of this country. And if he keeps he doing what he's doing, he's going to manage to do it because if he tanks the stock market any worse than he has already, they won't want to come here. Well, yeah. you know, there's things going on. Uh, like they property. arrested. Well, wait a minute, Phil. Let that somebody Chinese. else talk. Let somebody else oh. talk. What were you going to say, Kevin? Because we're all being poverty. Yeah, yeah. Because actually, he's going to have to have a wall to keep us from going to yeah, Mexico. Yeah, we'll be going to Mexico for jobs. <laughs> the, the Canadians uh, arrested uh, a uh, the CEO of that. I can't pronounce it. It's a it's a, a, a cell phone company from China, uh, Huawei or oh, something Hawaii. like that. Yeah. Huawei, yeah. Huawei. And uh, now she's out on ten million dollars bail. Mm -hmm. And uh, Trump. Today, you talk about the stock market. They, the stock market went up uh, quite a bit mm -hmm. uh, on thoughts that there was going to be a deal. Yeah, and do you know China. what happened? You know what happened? He held his yeah. meeting with Schumer, and it immediately started to tank. Yeah, but there was some other stuff uh, no, because no, Trump, it, it, accused, Trump accused the Chinese of stealing uh, uh, you know, intellectual property and, and other things, and so they saw the fight went on. But it was basically the NASDAQ was up 11, and uh, the, No, and um, then he held his meeting with Schumer, and it immediately tanked. Now, you can't say yeah, that that isn't cause but, and effect, Phil. But it was almost neutral for the day. Yes, but it, 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 that's cause and effect, Phil. And what are you going to say about how, you know, this stock market's doing very badly. So, Phil, I think I bad. finally I figured out Trump's plan to, to get because he said it again today in that little exchange that Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Yeah, he's going to destroy this economy so much that Mexico will build it to, to keep, keep us, us out. To keep, to keep yeah. us out. Well, actually, yeah. the thing is that um, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, it had to do with that, though. It had to do with. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, he's a. Would you say that Trump is a good businessman? It's better than me. Okay. Uh, well, in true businessman form, I think his whole plan is to eventually burn down the country and get the insurance money. Yeah. That's how we'll he's balance not, the he's budget. He's not Jewish. Well, maybe his kid, his daughter is. You know, uh, what do they call that, a Jewish barbecue? What do you mean Jewish barbecue? <laughs> Uh, when you burn down the store for uh, insurance, I, was the Jewish. I never heard that before, but gee, that's not unfunny. Yeah. You know? So yeah. What time is it getting to be? Oh, oh, we're, we're getting towards theme song time. All right. Yeah. We made it to the end of another gruesome dissertation by Phil. All uh, right. You know, with, with some, with some good two cents in by the rest of the, uh, of the panel uh but uh you know we'll uh we'll just pass it we should start calling this the phil meyer show and and uh leave, leave it at that you know uh, hey phil yeah well i mean that's what happens you spar with me <laughs> <laughs> everybody else agrees with each other uh, you see. know okay we, we really agree with each other uh, hey guys it's time to go uh, uh, Rob, thank you so much once again for being with us. Jeff, always good to have you here. Uh, you can't believe what you're hearing, right? No. Uh, Phil doesn't even believe it. Thank you, Phil, for being here tonight. And have Ke a wonderful Trump day. Yeah, Ke Kevin, thank you so much. I really appreciate it when you call. Uh, in fact, why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and that way we can... Uh, yeah, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. That's how they look. That's how they how they play, and that's where they go. Uh, and let me just turn off all the phones here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Hey, listen, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett, and this has been The Ramble. Uh, and uh, next is The Intersection with Jack Bishop. I'll be back again tomorrow night. At, first of all, there's the Franchise MC at uh, 9 th- 8.30, the sports show, and then followed by, called The Arena, followed by Damian Chaplin. He does a program called The Exchange. And then, yes, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life, Eastern Time. We'll be back. And if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>